Welcome everyone and good afternoon and happy Maryland Day. And, and I want to thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Lorenzo Creighton. I am the President and Chief Operating Officer of MGM National Harbor. Now at MGM, we like uh, to place you in the middle of excitement. Now, how is this for a unique venue for a casual get together today, right in the middle of the casino say? Now, we don't want to keep you too long because we respect your time, but we also don't want to be here too long out of respect for those hardworking men and women who are surrounding us today. They've got a resort to build. So we'll do our best to keep this program brief and to the point. Now, but we do want to mark this very special occasion. Now, as circumstances would have it, we've never got to have a groundbreaking ceremony. We started moving dirt on this site about a year ago to prepare for construction. One thing led to another, and we hired Whiting Turner, our contractor, to, be on, to work on this site, and we started receiving our permits, and we just started work. Uh, next thing, we knew we had a deep hole in the ground, and, uh, and so that groundbreaking ship had sailed. But we wanted to do something to celebrate, and what better way than to select the day where we can do that in honor the men and women who will bring this vision to reality. Now, we're glad to share that with you today. Now, as you can see around us, it takes many hands and many different skills to build something this big and this grand and this complex. Now, today we mark the, the fact that our growing construction workforce has reached 1,000 members. And we felt that was a milestone worth marking. Now today we mark the fact that our growing construction force is continuing to grow. So while we honor every member of our team today, we have asked four individuals to stand and represent all of their hardworking colleagues with the many skills and many trades required to build a project this complex. Now allow me to introduce them to you. The first is Mr. Thomas Turner. Now Thomas is a union laborer and serves as a labor foreman for Essex Construction here on our project. Essex is a Prince George's County based company and one of more than 60 minority business enterprises currently engaged on this project. This is a Prince George's County resident and a proud grandfather. Now next is Janie Oliver. Janie lives in the county for the past 30 years and has made her living as a union electrician. It's me. For the past 12 years, she has worked for J.E. Richards, another Prince George's County-based company. Janie work, is working at MGM National Harbor and will be her greatest professional accomplishment as an electrician because she knows for that years to come, her grandchildren will be able to pass by this structure and say, my grandmother helped build that facility. So we're excited about having Janie here today. Now our third representative is Bryant Rockyael Cruz. Now Bryant is a certified equipment operator with Tobar Construction. As a part of the Tobar team, Bryant helped complete the initial foundation work on this project, and which was one of the largest early contractors to be on this project. Tobar is another county-based MBE that we are proud to have on our project. Bryant lives here in Prince George's County with his wife and two sons. Thank you, Brian. Now finally, a guy who I've seen since the beginning of this project, Eric Coates. Eric's is a health and safety manager for the entire MGM National Harbor project site. He is employed by McKissick & McKissick, a county-based certified MBE, which is serving as the project manager for the, this major project. And he's worked on many projects uh, in the various locations and at, all throughout his career. But as a longtime Prince George's County resident, he will tell you he is especially proud to be working on the MGM National Harbor project here in his own backyard. Now seriously, if you get a chance, take the time to stop and talk to him. I can tell you he'll, 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 he's very proud of what he's done on this project. Again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please give all of our representatives another round of, of applause, a warm salute. Now, we hope you have the time to meet with them and talk to them 
And uh, but now I'm asking them to take their seats while we introduce a few more guests. And I'd like at this time, you know, there are a few elected officials in, in the audience here, and I know that, you know, what they're thinking. Look, four people representing 1,000 construction workers, and that's about 250 people each. But that's smaller than my district, so I'm thinking I'm okay. So, so but we're fortunate to have with us today a man who represents many thousands of people, millions in fact. He is new to the office, but he is definitely not new to the area. He is a lifelong Marylander, raised right here in Prince George's County, and it is my great pleasure to welcome him to the MGM National Harbor, Governor of Maryland, the Honorable Larry Hogan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Please, please. Sit down. Oh, thank you very much. It's great to be here today. Lorenzo, thank you for that very kind introduction. It is wonderful to be back in Prince George's County, my home. Um, I've got a hard hat on, but I'm not one of those hard-working Prince Georgians that's had something to do with this happening. These guys are working way harder than I am in Annapolis, I can tell you that. But uh, Lorenzo, you've been doing a great job on this project. It's incredible, the, uh, uh, the success that you've had so far. Last time I was here, it didn't look anything like this. And just looking out here today, you can see the progress that's being, uh, that's being made. I, I had a great meeting in my office a couple of weeks ago with Jim Murren, the chairman and CEO of MGM Resorts International, talking about this exciting project. I can tell you I was really impressed and uh, I could not be more excited about this project and about the pro uh, progress that MGM has been making here in Prince George's County. Um, I also want to just quickly mention, I don't know if I see him here today, but the visionary and the driving force behind this entire uh, National Harbor project, my friend Milt Peterson. None of this here would have happened without his vision. And most importantly, I want to recognize and thank the 1,000 men and women who are already working hard on what is going to be an amazing resort. Uh, I'm excited to be here to see the progress on the site and to talk with the people who are really making it happen. Uh, this is Maryland Day, as was mentioned earlier, and so in addition uh, to the uh, celebrating this important milestone of the 1,000th worker uh, that we're here to celebrate, we're also celebrating Maryland's 381st birthday. So today I am reminded of those very first uh, brave Marylanders who came to this land seeking freedom and opportunity when the ark and the dove landed in Saint, on St. Clement's Island in what is now St. Mary's County in 1634. Uh, while the challenges facing us today are different, I know that the courage and the spirit of Marylanders is the same. And it is in that spirit that we celebrate the hiring of the 1,000th worker at what will be an incredible world-class resort within one of the most important economic development projects in Maryland history. In case you didn't notice, Maryland is open for business. The entire focus of my administration is to grow the private sector, put people back to work, and turn our economy around. And that depends on companies like MGM, who invest in our great state and on the hardworking men and women who turn those investments into reality. You're laying the foundation, not just for a remarkable resort, but what will be an enormous economic driver that creates jobs and will contribute to our state in so many important ways. When the construction is done, this project will employ more than 4,000 people who will be working at an incredible world-class resort. 70% of MGM project revenues will come from non-gambling sources and to me that means more revenue to pay for important programs and a great mix of great jobs for our citizens. MGM National Harbor is a shining example of where we're headed in our state with respect to economic development. On behalf of all of the citizens of Maryland, congratulations on reaching the milestone of 1,000 jobs and thank you 
to everyone involved in making today such a success. I cannot wait to be back again when we cut the ribbon, open the resort, and when we celebrate reaching 4,000 new jobs for Marylanders. Thank you so much. Now the next person, since he was elected to his current office in 2010, has been working closely with others to pursue positive change in Prince George's County, creating jobs and growing the local economy. MGM National Harbor is very fortunate to have been able to work with him on what we know is going to be a significant contribution to his effort. He is a true champion of this county and a champion of this project. Please welcome the County Executive, Prince George's County, Mr. Rashern Baker. How's everyone doing? Welcome to this nice, bright, sunny day. It's beautiful out here. It look, you look beautiful. Can we give those hardworking men and women who are out here today working a round of applause, especially ones that are with us? Now, you know, I, I have to say that, um, you know, when I uh, was riding by here the other day, the other night, uh, I shouldn't have done this, but I did it, Mr. Governor. Um, I had them slow down the Suburban, roll down the windows, and took pictures of all these cranes so I could send it to my friends in the District of Columbia and Virginia so they can count the number of jobs that we're having right here in, in the state of Maryland and in Prince George's County. I, I'd like to tease them that there's a great vista. You know, when you go over to Virginia, you got a nice view looking this way. We're going to put a big sign, come spend your money. Uh, certainly, we are pleased to have the governor here. Thank you, Governor Hogan. Let's give him a round of applause for being here. A real friend of ours. Um, John Peterson from the Peterson Company. John, if we can give him a round of applause. Lorenzo's doing a great job. Can we give Lorenzo a round of applause? Ain't nobody bothering you, right? <laughs> I certainly want to thank my colleagues on the uh, uh, the county council and our chair, Mel Franklin's here in the county mayor. If you could just stand up real quick so we can give you a round of applause here. Karen Toes, everybody, thank you. Um, you know, this has been a long time coming and it is an exciting day and it is a day to be pleased. I know, and, and those of you in the media know, uh, at the very beginning of this process, Jim, um, there are many people who thought we'd never get to this day. There are many people who thought we would never get a company to invest, what I said, at least a million dollars, a billion dollars, not a million, a billion. Um, but people started to change their mind when MGM signed on, when that MGM brand came on to the campaign to bring a destination resort to Prince George's County. And that vision and those hard works and the things and promises we made to the people we're starting to see with these cranes and these trucks. But the person who teamed up with us and made sure it happened and put their personal credibility on the line was my good friend of MGM, Jim Murray. Can we give him a round of applause? So the final thing I'd like to say is there are going to be jobs here, there are going to be opportunities here, there's going to be resources coming back to Prince George's County that will outlive this administration and that's the way it should be, that will make this county better, that will make this county known in the state of Maryland, that will make this county known in the Washington region, but more importantly Mr. Governor, that will make Maryland and Prince George's County a national, de international destination uh, place. So we look forward to that. Thank you very much. Now, there are many familiar faces here today, but there is one more familiar to those of us from the state of Nevada 
that I'd like to welcome and acknowledge at this point is Congresswoman Dina Titus from Nevada. And again, thank you for your attendance here today. We would not be here if it were not for the contributions of many and a number of people who are here with us today. We are appreciative of all of those who took time to share this occasion. We look forward to working with Governor Hogan and his administration. We appreciate the leadership and insight of County Executive Sharon Baker and his team and the words of the good wisdom of those that have spoken here today also. We are grateful to the many members of the General Assembly who are t in attendance today and the County Council members who I've worked with very closely on, on make, bringing this project to fruition. And they played a role in the MGM Resorts and in, in our entry into Maryland. But there are other good friends we've made on this journey to, so far. And I'd like to recognize two key employees of our team, uh, Tiana Struthers, my uh, executive assistant, and Melanie Myers, two young women from Prince George's County who we hired as temps in 2012. And we're honored to still have them with us today as the two first local employees of, of this project. But I'd also like to talk about a few other people. Toya Mitchell was one of the first people on our team that we met in 2012. She is a local resident and businesswoman whom we still count on today for business and friendship and honest advice. Javier Torres of the Corporate Group and Derek Parks of Metropolitan Services. These two Prince George's County businessmen stood with us in 2012 when the community was still deciding whether this was a good idea or not. And again, we thank you for your support. And we'd also like to thank Radio One, uh, Kathy Hughes, and Alfred Liggins. Uh, Alfred they couldn't be here today because they were, he was going to be in New York, but we want to thank them uh, in their absence. Now, we respect the advice and support of local organizations and their leadership, especially people like David Harrington of Prince George's County Chamber, Walt Townsend of Baltimore Washington Corridor Chamber, Jim Estep, Business Roundtable. Uh, we also would not be here today without support of people like John Boardman and Samuel Epps and everyone at Unite HERE. We appreciate the friendship of people like Mike Little, Maynard Smith, and Lee Amber Howe, local residents that we've engaged on working on this project. And also Sarah Ramey, who, who is now with the American Gaming Association, and, uh, and also our Capital Strategies team, who, who work with us in, in Annapolis. And also, I think Lisa Hairston of American Red Cross, I'm not sure whether she's here today, we're proud to partner and identify for them to help us recruit and train members of the military for careers with MGM National Harbor. Now, it comes time to introduce the person next up, and it is uh, my boss, Jim Murray. And I, I'm a lucky man in many ways, as I am fortunate to have a boss, a visionary leader who loves Maryland and recognize the possibilities for our company here in this market. I'm also fortunate and happy that he chose me to come to Maryland and lead this incredible project. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my boss, Jim Murray. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Everyone all right? You warmed up all right over there? Well, good afternoon, everyone and thank you for being here. Long time coming. Governor Hogan, Rashern, the folks here in the county, thank you very much for welcoming us so far into your community. Especially thank you for the hard-working men and women of MGM National Harbor. In addition to recognition, I'd like to acknowledge two board members of MGM Resorts that are here with us today. Uh, Secretary Alexis Herman, thank you very much Alexis for being here. And Mary Chris Gay, Annapolis native, thank you very much Mary Chris. It's good to be in Maryland in any day, but of course it's great to be here on Maryland Day. It was about 30 years ago that I met a brilliant and beautiful young lady in New York City and thus began my journey to Maryland. That woman uh, is my wife, Heather Murren. Thank you very much, honey, for putting up with me. Heather is the daughter of a Maryland school teacher. 
and Heather over the last 30 years has shared with me the beauty and diversity of this great state and I have to say that I've been hooked ever since. And yes, I can pick crab with the best of them and Heather can cook lobster and clam chowder like my mom. But three years ago, I stood on this very site with John's dad, Milt Peterson. Milt's enthusiasm is, well, obviously infectious. His, in, his passion for art and design uh, rivals mine. And I recognized a few important things that day. I immediately grasped the opportunity that this beautiful site presented to bring visitors from around the world to the great state of Maryland, here on the banks of the Potomac. I discovered the beauty and artistry of the design of National Harbor. And I just knew that a resort that was expertly and lovingly designed and built would be a jewel. I know a bit about art. I did study it in school. And I love the way art brings people together and in a society allows people to express themselves their ideas and their concepts and to bring people together but the key to art is a vision now some feel that vision is an individual sport but it is not we in the resort industry know that vision is a team sport building an exceptional resort is the ultimate team sport. It requires skill, coordination, and commitment to execution. We will do that here. We will do it in a way that not only honors but salutes the rich heritage of this region and of our country. Here, in just 20 months, you will find an exceptional resort. It will cost one point two five billion dollars. I only promise you a billion. Actually I promise you eight hundred million. You wanted a billion, you're getting a billion and a quarter. It will be world class. It'll bring the finest of food, a variety of restaurants, internationally acclaimed, but also uniquely Maryland. It'll possess a tapestry of ideas, in entertainment, in retail, that you will be astounded by. It will showcase the finest spa for the ladies I met in 2012. And of course, it will be the home of great entertainment. Because of course entertainment is the core of MGM. Here, we will deliver world-class entertainment in an amazing theater that has never been built before and that will bring exciting sports venues, entertainers that typically grace the arenas and theaters of our much larger resorts in Las Vegas. In fact, entertainment will pervade this entire campus. Music, theater, sports, art will abound. This will be a place where travelers across the globe will come to be inspired, to be entertained, to be engaged. It'll be a place where friends and family come to make new friends and enjoy one another. But today, we honor the men and women, many of them here in Prince George's County, whose skills and execution turn a vision into a world-class resort here on the shores of the Potomac. There will be no doubt that MGM National Harbor will be that economic engine. But just in, as important are the contributions it'll do and allow us to make at the individual level. It will provide a, an ability for people from around this county, from a diverse set of backgrounds, to pursue their dreams, launch incredible careers, literally 4,000 of them, in an industry with hundreds of different kinds of jobs, with a company that I can promise you uh, is an inclusive and exciting company. Over the 
past few years, I've talked to many people here about MGM. I've talked about the concepts of teamwork and integrity and excellence. I've talked about our commitment to diversity and inclusion. All that is coming true. Running up into the ballot initiative back in 2012, I personally made many promises to this county and to the state of Maryland that I would build locally, that I would hire locally, I would hire MBEs, and not just any old MBEs, I would hire local minority businesses, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Hundreds of millions of dollars of construction work is going to be let out to the people of Prince George's County. We do big things, we do small things, we do things together. In fact, we're doing them already. Not only on this site, but not far away. With the cooperation of the school district and the county, we are making a separate $4 million investment in the shuttered Addison School just up the hill on Oxen Hill Road. That will be our employment center. The president of Arrow Architects is, I think, here and is leading that transformation of that vacant county asset. That company, by the way, was the first county-based minority business enterprise we engaged in this project. We're modernizing that facility to meet, hire, and train thousands of local residents who will apply for these jobs. And here's the great thing. When we're finished with that job, we're going to turn the keys back to the community for use as a fully functioning community center. And here's one other thing. Just east of our site inside the Clarion Hotel, local residents are literally now sitting down at computers to register their construction skills so that they can be prioritized to work on this project. Dan White, the Executive Vice President of Whiting Turner, the general contractor here, in partnership with the county and the Economic Development Corporation, has established the MGM National Harbor Community Resource Center, and I want to thank Dan for doing that. Thank you. That effort with our partners, enable subcontractors to identify themselves and so that we can hire local residents. It allows us to put local residents first. Matching jobs and people is a great thing. Fulfilling our promise to the community is another great thing. And we are well on track to spend. Actually, I view it invest hundreds of millions of dollars here competitively bid out with minority owned businesses and much of that will as I say be very very local to the county. Great things only happen through leadership and cooperation of great people. We would not be here today if not for the contributions of so many. I want to say my special thanks to the governor. Thank you for being here. The Senate President, who I met many times on this project, and Speaker Bush, who could not be here, and of course, County Executive Baker. For sure, your collective vision, individual leadership, has literally brought me and us here today. I have not met a more passionate elected official in my travels in the United States, and I just want to say thank you for being a friend of the county, of the great state of Maryland, and of me. Thank you, Rashern. In closing, let me just say that when I look up here today, this spring, and see the cranes and steel, I know that they are more than just symbols of progress. These are symbols of jobs and development for your community. And soon, those cranes will be replaced by the beautiful lines and architecture of a thriving resort. And that resort will be a living entity from which business 
and career opportunities will flow, bringing increased share of domestic and international tourism and a future filled with possibilities for Maryland and Prince George's County, their businesses, their residents, those of today and tomorrow. I look forward to that future. I look forward to fulfilling the promises that I made. I pledge to this state, to this county, and to this community that we will keep our promises. Thank you for coming today. Again, thank you, Jim. We'd like to conclude our program by asking each of you to help us create a bit of history. I realize when you talk about making history in this part of the country, you enter into some really heady ter territory. So let me rephrase and ask you to help us create a piece of MGM history here in Maryland. Everyone, please stay where you are. We're going to have our construction crew use one of our tower cranes to bring in a cement hopper and to make that happen, I'll ask Eric Coates to step up and with Jim Murren, give them the official signal. Am I Ready? supposed to hit the thing? Just hit the button. Hold, close your ears. <laughs> close your ears. Anyone with heart condition, hold on here. Hold on. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Now, <laughs> when you arrived here today, each What's of you. Happy Lorenzo. <laughs> was... Okay. Okay. There you go. Where is okay. it? Where? Here. Here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, it's coming. <laughs> you can go. It's coming. Okay. Oh, we're still putting carpet into it. Now, when you arrived here today, each of you were given a building excitement coin and a marker so that you could initial it. And if you have not given us your initial coin, please get it out and, and give it to us now. Flag down one of the uh, workforce representatives. They'll place it into a hard hat. And, and if you're holding on to your coin as a souvenir of the occasion, please give it up for history. We, we will give you another one as you leave the reception. So we'll have someone else, something else to show when you leave. Yeah, I guess that's a good one. 
Olympics. Okay, you're gonna head over to the hopper with the, I think the governor and Now we've collected all your coins and we're going to place them into the cement hopper, which in a few moments will we'll again move and pour one of our foundation columns with all of your initial coins encased in cement and it will become a permanent part of the foundation of MGM National Harbor Resort that will remain there for as long as the resort is here. Okay, Governor, County Executive, and Jim, if you would please go ahead and dump them into the, to the hopper. Now at this time, Thomas, if you could join County Executive Baker in giving the Shuster crew the next signal to raise up the hopper. Now that the hopper is in position, 
Governor Hogan, if you could team up with Janie and Bryant and give the Shuster crew the final signal to begin the pour. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our program. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate this special occasion. We invite our guests to return to the shuttles. Uh, we're going to have a special reception back at Oxon Hill Manor, which we would like to invite.